Hello again. Last time we interviewed Professor Elroy Dimson, a leading authority on the history of global markets. This time we've spoken to one of his colleagues at Cambridge Judge Business School, Dr David Chambers. One of the subjects David Chambers is most interested in is the role that new technology has played in destabilising equity markets. He's particularly intrigued by the notion of new era thinking, a temptation that's recurred several times in the past to think that something has fundamentally changed that requires a complete reassessment of market valuations. I asked him first for some historic examples. Firstly, the British railway mania of the 1840s. The second one is the, uh, the, the second industrial revolution, which relates to the discovery and uh, commercialization of electricity and the combustion engine and the automobile in the 1920s leading up to the 1929 crash. And then most recently, of course, the, the advent of the internet and the dot-com bubble in the late 1990s. So I think all three of those episodes, whilst they have their differences, do share this, this common theme that they all revolved around the entry of a, of a new technology into the economy, which promised huge amounts uh, in terms of um, uh, product productivity advantages and economic growth. It's what Bob Schiller has coined the term new era thinking. In each of these cases, what happens is investors put money into these technology sectors. As the money flows in, the capital gets invested and that, that generates more output in each of those areas and that drives down prices, product prices, which then undermines this promise, uh, this implicit promise that, that these stocks seem to be promising on the way up that they would deliver these profits and dividends into the future. And so uh, the benefits from these technologies are real because they, but they flow to the users of these technologies more than they flow to the investors. Almost certainly it will happen again, whether it's happening again, I don't think it's happening again now, but almost certainly there will be another uh, technology fueled uh, bubble episode because investors uh, forget. Um, and uh, someone else will come along, um, w whether this is the investment community, uh, selling stocks or whether it's uh, media commenting on the markets and uh, this whole idea of new era thinking uh, will, will re-emerge. When that will happen, I don't know, but I will guarantee you that it will happen. I think they need to think very hard about what their, their own abilities and skills are as an investor and think hard whether it's, that it's really possible for them to uh, to see through all the propaganda uh, to what the merits are of investing in individual stocks. If the answer to that is that that's too difficult for them, then they should think about more uh, risk-averse ways of investing, that is to uh, diversify their portfolio and not just to put uh, their money into uh, technology stocks. And uh, you know, perhaps to think about less active ways of investing their money. Mm -hmm.